Hello, this is your host Preet, and I'm going to be showing you uh, how to uh, use the Wireless Mesh Network API. So I developed uh, basically a wireless uh, mesh network uh, algorithm that works for low power controllers. And uh, it's all open source. And I'm going to be using this board uh, as an example since this board has Nordic Wireless chip right here. So two two reasons to watch this video. One is to learn how to use the uh, wireless mesh network uh, functions. And the second one is how to use these functions to talk to one board to another. So on my Wikipedia web page, this URL has uh, several uh, quick reference functions to get you started. And I'm basically going to be going over each one of them. So let's make some things clear. Uh, first of all, uh the um the layers the way they work is uh, there's wireless api at the top which uses uh, most of mesh network api so this is mesh dot h and uh at the lowest level is the physical wireless chip which helps the mesh network uh send and receive data and uh one more thing to note is that uh, i'm going to be using functions called wireless underscore send and these are really the same thing as mesh underscore send. So if you're watching this video to learn about the mesh API, wireless underscore send is the same thing as mesh underscore, underscore send. So for this board example, uh, let me first mention that the board uses these parameters and it sets them to the physical wireless chip that you see here. So uh, the few critical parameters is that you must use the same channel number. So if you want a group of your boards to communicate with each other, they must use the same channel number. So obviously you don't want your neighboring uh, uh, nodes um, which belong to other people, you don't want them to be on the same channel as you. The wireless data rate has to be the same between all of your nodes for these nodes to communicate between each other. And each node must have a unique address. So this can be anywhere from 1 through 254, uh, 244 uh, inclusively. I should make that correction, 254 inclusively. So let's go ahead and uh, begin with an example. So if you want to send a packet address, uh, if you want to send a packet to address 100, let me show you how to do that. So what you can do is basically wireless send. The first parameter, if I press control space, uh, the first parameter is actually going to be uh, who you want to send the uh, packet to. I'm including this file so I can use the indexer's help to show you the parameters. So the first parameter is destination address, that's right here. So who do you want to send this packet to? And the second parameter is what kind of protocol you want to use for the packet. So there's a couple of different choices uh, which you should be using. So if I control click on this one, it'll take me to a list of choices. And it has documentation for you to read across. So the first packet is NAC. NAC means no acknowledge. That means we're going to throw uh, this wireless packet out there. And if somebody catches it, great. If somebody doesn't catch it, we don't really know uh, what's what's happened to the packet, it can get lost. So mesh underscore packet underscore NAC is no acknowledge, you just want to throw the packet out there. The second one is called an acknowledge, and uh, I want to emphasize that this is automatic acknowledge. So if you throw a packet out there, the other node will automatically send you the acknowledge back. All it needs on the receiver side is just, you can have an empty while loop running because background task takes care of the mesh network. So if we're the sender, we ask for an acknowledgement. The other guy will send an acknowledgement back automatically. This one is an application acknowledgement. We will go over that later. And this one is an acknowledgement packet. So if you're asking for acknowledgement or an application acknowledgement, you will get this kind of packet back. Okay, so in this example, what I'm saying is go ahead and send out 
a packet to this address using this kind of type type of packet and I want to send hello and copy five bytes from this string hello so what you're doing is this packet right here has a bunch of data fields and the data fields are basically from data 0 all the way to data 23 this is basically 24 bytes due to Nordic wireless so the physical wireless chip this one right here is only capable to transport 32 bytes and <clears throat> mesh network has some overhead so you can only transfer 24 bytes at a time so when you say wireless send what's happening is it's copying five bytes uh, of hello into the real data before it sends it over the final parameter is number of hops so if, if, if the destination is right next to you, you can put zero hops. But if the destination is far away and is only reachable through an intermediate node, so I can say that you are allowed to go through one hops to find your destination. So this is how to send a very simple packet from your board to another board. Now let's go through the examples. So the next example is a broadcast packet. So a broadcast packet is sent to everyone. So regardless of what their address is, broadcast packet will go to everybody. And broadcast packets, uh, they are always no acknowledged because you can't expect acknowledge from um, 50 wireless nodes out there. So I'm sending this hello to everybody uh, up to one hops away. So my immediate neighbors and their immediate neighbors, this packet will be uh, repeated to everybody. The next packet type I want to demonstrate is a ping packet. A ping packet also doesn't need anything from the receiver. So the receiver could be running an empty while loop. And as long as it's running this same mesh network uh, uh, API or a uh, project, you don't need special handling for a ping packet. So what's a ping packet? It's a packet that we do want to hear an acknowledgement back. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to send a ping packet with no acknowledge because we won't get anything back. So we want to ask for an acknowledgement back and we want to add, we want to copy no data bytes. So that's why I'm saying copy from no pointer to uh, just zero bytes so basically the data length is zero so this is considered ping packet so what the other guy will do is it will send its name back so if you set your wireless node name to let's say me so what will happen is when we send uh, this uh, node with this address so when we send this packet to node number 100 uh, nothing back what will happen is that node will give, give us an acknowledgement packet back and the packet dot data will basically contain its name so the way you can find out how many data bytes came in is packet dot info dot data length so packet dot info dot data length gives you the number of bytes the other node sent back so this uh, code here is just a way to ping and get the other node's name back. So, so far, uh, we're sort of getting uh, into acknowledgement. So I showed you no acknowledgement packet to somebody and no acknowledgement packet to everybody. And then a ping packet. So this ping packet is useful because you're not dependent on the other node to take any action to get give us some response back. <clears throat> the next uh, thing I'm going to show you is how to um, send an acknowledgement request and get something back. So I'm going to use wireless send and I'm going to say send it to this address. Uh, this type of packet means we are requesting for automatic acknowledgement and send hello which is five bytes and number of hops typically it takes uh, three to ten milliseconds to hear the response if the node is immediately available means it's zero hops away 
so we will get an acknowledgement packet within 25 milliseconds. So you can use this API wireless get ACK packet. So I'm saying get me this packet within 25 milliseconds and it will return true if we get anything within 25 milliseconds. So this is a way to send a packet and get an acknowledgement to confirm that indeed the other node got our packet. There's also wireless flush RX. That means uh, we discard any packet that came in or any uh, pending X that came in. And I encourage you to read the wireless.h file, which has all these functions and documentation. So the next thing I want to demonstrate is how to be able to form a packet. So, so far I've been sending a constant hello uh, with five bytes, but what if you wanted to fill those bytes with some meaningful data? So what you could do is, let's say that I have a variable integer and variable two called float. I want to copy uh, these values into the packet. So the way you do that is you form a packet. So essentially what you're doing is the data bytes are being copied from these variables. So far, this is the same thing. You want to, uh, added parameter is you want to say, I want to form the packet into address of packet. So here's my pointer of the packet. Uh, go ahead and form the packet. The address is who you want to send it to. Uh, this is the packet type, asking that you want an acknowledgement back. The number of hops you think the node is away. The next parameter, the fifth parameter, is the number of pairs that you want to copy. So the first, it's a pair count. So the first pair is I'm saying here's my data variable, and the size of the variable is this. So you can literally use size of. And I can say here's my data variable, and the size of the variable is variable 2. So in this project, you can send up to 24 bytes because that's the maximum bytes you can send in one packet. So once you form a packet, you can just say wireless send form packet, and this packet will be gone to the other end. And now if the receiver receives this packet, what you can do is deform packet. So it's uh, very similar. So let me actually show you how to deform packet. So on the receiver side, the first thing you'll have to do is you, you have to get a packet. So this is a little bit different from <clears throat> when we were saying get acknowledgement packet. This function will only get the acknowledgement packets for you. And this function will get all packets with the destination being your address. So I can say that uh, get uh, try to get a received packet within 100 milliseconds. And address of packet means you're giving the pointer of this uh, structure away. And you deform the, almost the same way as you formed. So you can say, here's my packet. I have two pairs to deform. And deform it into variable one, which is this size of variable one. And variable two, size of variable two. So if somebody get, get, sends us a formed packet, you can deform it by copying these uh, variables. So the, the first parameter is packet. The next one is uh, the number of pairs. So you don't need these three parameters. So you go with packet, number of pairs, and you simply deform the packet. So this was a very quick video to show you how the uh, wireless uh, send and receive functions can be used. Uh, please read the wireless.h file, and you'll see that in wireless.h file, a lot of functions are just um, alias for mesh uh, functions. So this mesh network code is the real uh, code that does all the work for you. It uh, it is responsible to retry packets for you. So if you just send a packet under the hood, it's doing all the work for you. It'll resend the packet if the acknowledgement is not received, and it will try to receive the acknowledgement. It'll, it'll try to distribute the packet to the right path. So, so Mesh Network does all the work for you. You just have to pretty much focus on wireless send and wireless receive. And feel free to uh, please visit the uh, Wikipedia website for more information.